Hi, and welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today, I want to see if the new Diamond Dark Club pen works with pink wax and AB drills. So these are AB drills, Aurora Borealis. And they were given that name because they have a special coating on them that reflects different colours as you walk past uh, when the diamond painting is hanging up on the wall. The thing about this coating is the pink wax um, that we're used to using really likes to stick uh, to this coating. And it likes it so much that if you try to use a normal diamond painting pen like this with the nylon tip and the brass insert, what can happen is your pen is loaded with a little piece of pink wax. When you pick up a drill, that isn't a problem, but when you put it down, um, instead of the uh, drill sticking to the glue and releasing from the pen as you pull the pen away, the coating um, is more adhesive. So when you pull back, instead of the pen coming away with the pink wax, the pen comes away without the pink wax and you have your pink wax from the pen is sitting on top of the drill. And that has been a problem since ABs came out. There are different ways to try and get around it. You can use uh, pink wax that you've been using for a while so it's uh, not as uh, clean and that doesn't stick as well. Or some people use like a small sponge that's damp or a cloth that's damp and touch the wax on that first and then try the AB. Again, they're reducing the stickiness of the, uh, of the wax. Um, but Diamond Dark Club brought out a new pen very recently that comes preloaded with putty. So it comes with uh, this putty inside it and you screw the pen to feed the putty to the tip. So no more dipping in pink wax. So I've done some videos with the pen. I will put links um, in the description. You can have a look and see. Um, but the latest thing that I've done is I've actually taken the putty out of the pen and I have replaced it with pink wax. So now the tip of the pen is pink, actually red. Um, so the tip in the pens is actually clear. So when the, the putty is in, it looks as if this tip is white. It isn't. Um, so I've loaded it up with the pink wax. And what I want to try today is to see if it will um, put down the ABs and if it will come away without leaving the pink wax on the AB. So that would mean that you can use, if it does work, you could use pink wax in this pen and not have the problem um, of the pink wax sticking to the ABs. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm thinking it will work because thinking about it, the problem is the pink wax does not stick to the brass very well. And because of that, when you pull back, it just slides out of the tip. Now, this is a massive piece of pink wax. It isn't like a little blob in the end like this one is. It's All of this is pink wax. So I am thinking that these drills will not pull the pink wax out. But the only way to find out is to try it. Okay, so I'm still working on the bat signal calls. I don't have much left to do at all. But I have these ABs, uh, which will be the moon and the stars. So the pen, as you saw, is loaded up with pink wax. And uh, here are the ABs. So we'll give it a try. So I'm thinking that it won't pull the pink wax out because it's such a big piece of wax. Um, but we'll start, I'll start here. So I'm going to do a checkerboard. Um, if you're new to diamond painting, checkerboard is just doing every second drill. So you build up a little checkerboard pattern. So that's what I'm doing just now. 
So I'll just fill up um, the whole moon section. So I've been using the pink wax. I, I swapped out uh, the putty that came in the pen. I took that out, replaced it with half a heart of uh, Diamond Art Club pink wax. And I've been using it on normal drills. All these drills, the grey drills that you see, uh, they were placed with um, the pink wax in this pen and I didn't have any problems so I thought okay we'll see if it works with the ABs because this as I said has always been a problem with AB drills um, you see people commenting in the groups saying I'm trying to diamond paint and the wax uh, keeps coming out um, of the end of the pen and then when people ask, they find out it's AB drills they're using. Um, and it's just because the coating gets a better grip of the wax than just the normal uh, drill. So it actually holds on to the drill. And when you move the pen back, um, the wax sticks on the drill and it pulls it out of the pen. So very, very common problem. And when I saw this pen, I thought, Hang on a minute, if you replace that with pink wax, um, you shouldn't have that issue. I don't think anyway, because it's not just a little tiny piece. It's a big piece of pink wax and it's not a brass tip, it's just plastic. Um, and I thought, okay, I'll give it a try. And so far, it's working. So I used, when I started this, if you've seen the first video, um, I was planning to do this whole diamond painting. It's a small one. It's only 13 inches by 13 inches or 33 centimetres by 33. And initially I thought I would just do the whole thing with the putty because the putty was new and I wanted to try it and see how it worked. Oops. Um, I found the putty to be quite stringy. When I released a drill, I was getting strings of putty coming back to the tip. But after using it for a bit of time, I realised it was because I wasn't pressing very hard. Um, when I use a pen, I have a very, very light touch. And that helps uh, to make the wax last longer. If you look at the tip of a pen, like the standard pens with that little brass insert. If you look inside it before you put putty in it, you'll see there is a tiny, tiny little hole at the back. And if you use the same pen for a while, you will start to see a little pink worm working its way up inside the pen. So the wax can actually move backwards through that little hole. And I think that reduces the time that you get from um, a, a spot of pink wax because every time you press down it very slightly pushes the wax back and because that holds there it can move away from the tip with these pens there is no hole uh, the wax can't move backwards the downside of that is when you first fill the pen um, and you wipe off the end, you've got a flat surface of pink wax, but your drills are like little pyramids, so they push into that. And because the wax can't move backwards, it comes out around the tip. So you have excess pink wax. So already I'm in the habit, I'm doing it just now, I just wipe around the tip of the pen, just in case there's any excess there. And I found when I just start with the pink wax, um, it does it quite a bit. It isn't really an issue because I just use uh, sharp tip tweezers to pick the pink wax off and it comes up really really, it's really easy to get the pink wax picked up with a pair of sharp tweezers. The putty on the other hand, trying to do it with tweezers to pick excess putty off the top or in between drills is an absolute nightmare because the putty is extremely stringy 
Um, it's like trying to pick up soft chewing gum um, with a pair of sharp tweezers. It's very hard to do, and you end up with a little smear that you can't you just can't get. You don't get that with the pink wax. So I'm thinking, for me personally, I would rather use pink wax than the putty. Because you have basically half a heart of wax in the pen. When it stops picking up, you turn the tip a fraction. Not even a quarter of a turn, just a fraction and that's enough. Just turn it very slightly and you'll find that you can start picking up again. If you turn it, say, a quarter turn, you'll feed too much wax to the tip. And because it can't go anywhere but out the sides um, of the tip of the pen, you'll find that you get quite a bit of excess um, pink wax. So it's just a tiny, tiny turn and um, it works fine. I think it's just a matter of time getting used to just how little and it is a very small amount that you have to turn that tip um, to get the wax to pick up again. But the stringiness of the putty is the thing. Um, trying to remove it using tweezers is very, very difficult. But I did find that if you actually just press, if you've got the pen loaded with putty and you get some excess putty sitting on top of a drill, just press the pen hard down on top of it and the putty will stick to itself and it picks it up. Again, I've done a little video about that so you can see uh, what I mean. But um, everybody's different and now you have a choice. You could use the, the white putty or you could use the pink wax. It's really up to you. But the sort of thing that clinches it for me is the fact that the pink wax is a lot easier to pick up if you do have any excess on or between the drills. Using a pair of sharp tipped tweezers it's pretty easy to sc scrape it up and just get it to stick to the tip of the tweezers and lift it out. Um, the, the putty is a, a totally different thing but if you press down hard you can pick it up. It's when it goes in between the drills and pressing the pen down doesn't catch it then um, that's when it's hard to get. So you end up with these little white bits in between the drills. Um, so you can either pick the drills out and swap them or um, just ignore it. Realistically, nobody's going to see it from any normal viewing distance. It's just that we are so close to this that we see every tiny, tiny little thing. You have to remember these drills are only two and a half millimetres across. So if you've got a tiny little sliver, I mean, how wide is the gap between square drills? I mean, it's absolutely tiny, a fraction of a millimetre. You're not going to see that from uh, a normal viewing distance of maybe three to six feet away. So as you can see, the, the putty isn't coming out the pen. Sorry, I keep getting this mixed up because I'm so I was so used to saying wax in the putty video. I was saying wax, and now I'm using wax. I'm talking about putty. Um, what I meant to say is the wax is not coming out of the pen and sticking to the drills, so it works absolutely fine. And for the the tiny fraction that you have to turn the pen to get it to pick up again, I think um, just one load of pink wax is going to last for a very long time. I imagine the putty will probably do the same thing, but it's the hassle of trying to get the putty off or out from between drills that um, sort of makes me feel that I would stick with the pink wax. But as I said, everybody's different. I mean, I have seen people comment and saying they don't like this pen. Um, they prefer to use the, the older style, well I'm calling it the older style pen, but the standard type pen um, like this, the one with the, the nylon tip with the brass insert. 
some people have seen uh, saying they prefer this pen um, than this one. So I don't know. Um, personally, I prefer definitely prefer this one. It's it's a bit thicker, a bit more weight to it. It feels just better to me. Um, and I like the fact that I don't have to um, push into a piece of wax every so often. Just laziness, I suppose. But um, it seems to work very well. I like the idea. I have heard that uh, Diamond Art Club are going to replace these tips because um, this, the plastic they're made of uh, wears away pretty quickly. Even though the pens are only really meant to be used um, for each diamond painting because you get a new one with every kit. They are replacing the the nylon tipped pens. But I've heard that they're going to change this so it's going to be a metal tip and that'll make a big difference because then that won't wear away. Um, so you'll just end up with a load of these uh, white pens and you'll just use the one pen probably. Um, I don't see the point of using more than one. In here, nice click when we go into the square. But again, going back to the checkerboard technique, I use this all the time. And hopefully you can see how straight the drills are. Um, building up the checkerboard, you're, you're sort of concentrating on the first pass, trying to make sure that you get your drills as close as possible to in the square. And then when you come back to fill in the gaps, if they are off a little bit, when you push that drill down into the square, into the hole, it automatically twists the other drills. So um, they line up. And I've been using that technique ever since I started diamond painting. And that was because I watched YouTube videos before I even bought a diamond painting. And uh, I just sat and watched them, watched different people, and this checkerboard thing kept getting mentioned. So I thought, okay, I'm going to do that. Um, a light pad kept getting mentioned. So I bought a light pad at the same time as my first uh, diamond painting. Now, that's it's starting to not pick up. And the first thing I did there was turned to go and look for my wax to dip the pen in. I don't, I don't need to do that. I just need to turn it and can't really, I don't have space to do it in front of the camera, I don't think, but I don't think you'd even see it. it's a fraction of a turn, just a fraction. So I've done that and, oops, um, it's picking up again. I couldn't even say how small it is that I turn the pen, a millimetre maybe. Just basically enough that I feel it's moved and it's fine. I found that if I turned it more than that, I was getting a lot of excess wax at the beginning that was having to pick off. Okay, it's easy enough to do, but I don't really want to do it. Um, plus, I'm just basically wasting pink wax if I um, feed too much. So I think I've uh, figured out how much to touch it because just now, I haven't had any excess and I have turned it and it is picking up again. So I think it's just a, a matter of getting used to it. It's definitely different. Not having to dip in the pink wax is good. And the pen comes with a cap uh, that is tight. Uh, that's something to mention. The, the cap that comes with the pen when you get the first pen, um, when I tried it, I was trying to unscrew it. It isn't a, a screw fit, it's just a push-pull. It pushes on a lot easier than it comes off. Because when you pull it, you think, this is really tight. Um, but it's just getting used to that. But it means that the wax isn't sitting exposed all the time. When you finish, you can uh, stick that. Um, cap on the end and it stops any hairs or dust uh, catching onto the pink wax. So a good idea. Um, I think it just takes a bit of getting used to but um, I've basically done half of this diamond painting so that would be what 
16 and a half by 16 and a half uh, centimeters I've done with this pen uh, with putty and then I did the other half with the pink wax and the initial thing was I was getting a lot of excess and it was because I was turning the, the, the pen too far turning the tip too much it was feeding too much uh, pink wax and that's what was causing all the excess I was getting but it was easy enough to pick up and once I got used to the putty um, every now and again I would get like a little piece of uh, white putty stuck on top of the drills once I figured out just pressing the pen down on it worked um, there was no issue the idea was I was going to do this all with putty and then go over like a close up even closer than this so we could see how much putty was left decided not to bother doing that um, because there's nothing there so I didn't see the point and then I thought okay I'll uh, I'll do half with putty I'll take the putty out of the pen I'll do half with pink wax and then I'll decide which one I think um, works best and we are all different as I said some people prefer the, the normal standard diamond painting pen and that's fine it's whatever works for you is the correct solution for me this pen with pink wax is the solution and I'm hoping that Diamond Art Club instead of sending the pens out loaded with putty will just send out the putty in the little bag like they do you get this extra anyway so you get the pen loaded with putty plus this to refill it um, I'm thinking that it might be an idea for them to send the pen not loaded with anything and people can decide whether to put putty in it or the pink wax because taking the putty out of the pen trying to clean it to put pink wax in um, takes a bit of time um, because the putty is very sticky so if somebody thought I would rather use pink wax because that's what I'm used to and it's now going to work with ABs they don't have to sit and spend time um, trying to get the putty out of the pen they just basically put some pink wax in and uh, screw the tip down a bit and then get started so I'm hoping that's what they're going to do as you can see no problems um, I don't know why I went on to that I haven't finished them in um, no problems with it at all and that was me refilling the pen uh, not refilling um, what would you call it reloading the tip of the pen um, and I still didn't get any excess when you um, dip the pink wax you always get excess when you start so Let's solve that problem as well. I may as well finish them, I suppose. So I think it's a very good idea from Diamond Art Club. Um, they always like to move forward with things. Um, the other new thing is they now supply a diamond painting tray that comes with a cover that slides over. Um, so it's like a lid and the trays are recessed so you can stack them so you can uh, you don't need to buy stackable trays if that's the way that you want to work they come as standard in the kits you don't have to buy a preloaded pen it comes standard in the kits so I think they just always are looking to improve and make things easier for people make things work better for people their trays have straight sides so they don't flip over as easy um, a lot of companies give little trays that are a lot smaller as well and they have angled sides and if you happen to tap them when you're diamond painting the drills flip over land on the glue and you spend the next five minutes picking drills off the glue which is very annoying Diamond Art Club's original trays had angled sides and then they realised, hang on a minute, 
it's got to be something better than this so they changed it and I really like that I like they don't just sit still they're always looking to change and try new things sometimes things they've tried haven't really worked as well as they maybe thought they would so they just said okay right, that was an idea but it didn't work we'll try something else and I think that's a, a really good thing rather than just doing the same old same old um, try and make things work better for people so that's it all the ABs are done so that answers that question um, does the new Diamond Art Club pen work with pink wax on ABs absolutely um, no problems with it at all uh, the only thing is it's just getting used to how far to turn uh, the tip to feed the wax uh, down I did it there um, I got to the point where it wasn't picking up and I turned it a tiny and I mean tiny amount and it started picking up again and didn't even leave any excess um, you can't really get that if you're dipping the pen because when you uh, fill the tip with a new dot uh, um, the, the tip of the pen is flat the wax is flat when you press down on the drill the drill is like a little dome or pyramid and it pushes up into the wax that wax has to go somewhere um, in the other pens there's a tiny tiny little hole that will allow a bit of the wax to move backwards but even then normally when you fill the pen <clears throat> by dipping in wax you have to wipe the tip to get the excess off when you start using it and do that a few times until the pen settles down and you get a little uh, dome inside the wax um, where the, the tip of the, the drill fits um, that time there anyway um, I didn't have to do anything I just m turned the pen a very small amount <coughs> carried on um, no excess left at all but that does come down to how hard you press so if you press hard um, you probably still will get that excess but it is easy to pick off with tweezers the putty on the other hand trying to pick it up with tweezers is a nightmare if you imagine soft chewing gum um, stuck on something and you were trying to pick it off with tweezers um, it, it just comes up in strings and doesn't really get it off so um, yeah I mean as I said I think it would be a really good idea if Diamond Art Club supplied the pens with nothing in the tip and people can choose whether they want putty or they want wax because I know we will have people who prefer the putty we'll have people who prefer the wax um, so as it is at the moment if people want to try the, the wax they have to get the putty out of the tip of the pen um, and it isn't just a matter of just get tweezers and pull it out or something like that it, it takes time um, and it is a bit of a pain um, but I think if you supply the pen with nothing loaded and give people the wax and the putty they can choose what they want themselves and put it in um, it is not difficult to load the pen but that will be in a future video so that's it for today thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video um, I hope uh, the people who enjoy using the pink wax um, are happy that they can use it in the new pen and it doesn't stick to the ABs so if you enjoyed the video as always please remember to subscribe hit the notification button if you do that you may catch new videos um, unboxings unbaggings comparisons accessories maybe even some sneak peeks um, pretty much everything and anything to do with diamond painting so that's it for today thanks for watching and in the meantime take care be safe and wash your hands